it's your boy, Fat Man. Welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting right now because I've been recording a lot of videos and I'm tired. So let's let's get into this. Abba and Preach. Men don't have body image issues because women are nice. What? Billy Eilish. Okay, let's go. Today's first topic. Actually, that's not true, by the way. Men are much nicer than women, but there's just men out there who just don't hold back anymore. Because what is it? When your girlfriend's with you, does this make me look fat? No, sweetie, you look beautiful and perfect. Why do you think you look fat? Where does that come from? What's wrong with that? Men are very nice. It's a gay man who will tell you, girl, you're bad. You're not fat. And a gay man who loves you will tell you, yeah, you're fat. Probably not. Because gay men are more tuned in with women. So let's continue. Like, uh, Billie Eilish, being a woman is just a war forever. Mm -hmm. Especially being a young woman. In the public eye, it's really unfair. I wasn't trying to have people not sexualize me when I was wearing those oversized clothing. But uh -huh. I didn't want people to have access to my body, even okay. visually. I wasn't strong enough and secure enough to show it. If I'd shown it at the time, I would have been completely devastated if people had said anything. Okay. If you want to know Billy Eilish got huge bazookas. She does. She has big titties. All right. Fucking preach, nigga said, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> preach is like, what? I've never felt like a woman, to be honest with you. I've never felt desirable. I've never felt feminine. I have big boobs. I've had big boobs since I was nine. And that's just the way I am. That's how I look. You wear something that's all revealing and everyone's like, oh, but you didn't want people to sexualize you. Why? Nobody ever says a thing about men's bodies, she says. I say a lot. That's a lie. They say a lot about men's bodies. Men say a lot about men's bodies. It's very gay, too. I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of men out here are like, oh, no, no one talks bad about men. And the women like, no, men, no, men, men say the same shit. Oh, you fat, get in the gym. Oh, you're fat. Oh, you're too skinny, eat a cheeseburger. Oh, my God, do you eat? Like, you're, why are you so fucking skinny? Oh, my goodness, you're such a twig. Oh, bro, I could punch you in the face and kill you. Like, people just don't understand or don't get it that it's not about body shaming or men don't get it men do people body shame men all the time men body shame men women body shame men you must live in a fucking world of me 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 and my ego but i've been there i've been fat i've been body shamed i've been uh, even when i lost a little bit of weight i felt good but you could still be shamed at the level of losing weight. Like, oh, wow, you're too skinny or this and that. Like, my friend's mom say, oh, is something wrong with him? He's too skinny. And he was like, nah, he's, he's good. He's been working out, which is true. I was just working out. But that's also a thought to be like, damn, too skinny? That's scary. Like, did I really lose that much weight? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard to think about because I was so dedicated and practicing and pushing that I transformed overnight. You know what I mean? It's wild. But it's men get judged for their bodies. It, you just don't see it or hear it a lot, but we do. Women get judged a little more because you're too skinny, you're too fat, or you're not just the right size, you don't got a fat ass, don't got bigger titties, you, your nose looks ugly, your hair is too wild, tame this, tame that, do this. It comes back around the same way. You don't think so, but it's true. Cool. If you're not, cool. If you're real thin, cool. If you have a dad bod as a man, cool. If you're pudgy, love it. All of that is women speaking up now about what they like and what they want from men. It's not women saying cool with that. It's certain women saying, I like a pudgy guy. I like a dad bod. I like a skinny dude. I don't like a big brawler guy. I like a super, super muscular dude who looks like he could manhandle the fuck out of me. Women love that shit. Pause. But it's a hundred percent women love that. Guys, they like a, a they like a brolic mommy girl who can uh, fucking take charge and just lean over them and take their money as they take as she takes their nut. Like, <laughs> like come on, guys, like a little chunky BBW girl. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I I had to see what my friend was talking about when he was like, "Yo, I'm fucking with this BBW." And I seen the chick and I was like, "That she too big for me." But he was like, "I love him. I'm gonna go fuck this chick right now." And I was like, "Damn." 
uh, uh, there's guys that they love that likes girls that are really uh, super skinny, but they gotta have not super skinny, but skinny enough, but you still got boobs and a butt. You know what I mean? Cute bitches. You can't live a life of non notoriety, understanding of the complex systems of men and women. As a woman, women like what they like from men. Men like what they like from women. It's a honest double standard, but it's back and forth. It's 50-50, if you think about it. She's, she's not thinking about it 50-50. She's thinking about it her way, which I get. Everybody's happy with it. You know why? Because girls are nice. They don't give a fuck because we see people for who they are. That is not true. Girls are, girls are nice. Who, who told you that? Girls can act nice. That's the difference. Guys can be very fucking nice. But people don't tell you who the fuck they are. People just let you believe what you want to believe. You believe girls are nice because you're a nice girl. But other than that, there's a lot of bitches who aren't nice, sweetie pie. I don't know what they've told you or who's filled your head with these lies. But honestly, everybody's on the same worker level here. They fuck you up, you get fucked up. It's what it is. Girls can be fake nice and then spit and lie in your fucking behind your back and then maybe tell to your face when they're just like, well, I'm done playing these games with you. And they'll toy with your fucking heart. Same thing with men who get hurt by those same girls. They'll do the same thing to women. Hurt them and all that shit. It's just, you just don't understand how the world works. It's a lot of double standards. And that got everybody very upset. I mean, here, I'll give you a quick example. Uh, short men. We all know. You Shit. Know. Everybody knows. Short men. There's people out there that are trying to get the short kings, short kings movement, but no, short men are going fucking viral. It's not a short people man cool. People get shamed for things they literally cannot change, like their height. Run it. Okay? Even in Hollywood. Oh my God. He's a short guy. You're not going to get cast for that. Like you're, you're short. You're not going to get cast. Like Tom Holland's a short dude. I met Tom Holland. He is short. I could pick that nigga up and choke slam him. That's how short that nigga is. Like, he has to be standing on boxes or, or he have to give him, like, some type of stilts to make him a little taller. Or, like, what the fuck? Because bro is short. How many actors have had to go through extreme weight losses to be able to land a role? Or extreme mm -hmm. weight gains to be able to land a role? Mm -hmm. How many male actors talk about being completely insecure and have to get plastic surgery to even stay within the industry? Even in the place that she works at, men have to do crazy things just to keep up. Mm -hmm. All these dudes who are going on tour and they're doing RB singings, like, yo, they have to invest so much in order to keep their bodies in that shape because they know if they fall out, they're no longer that sex symbol that women love a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Now. Is it true that ladies are going to deal with more pressure when it comes to their looks and it's more important to dudes? Sure. But, I mean, the difference isn't so large that it's like men don't have that same problem. We certainly do. True. You As a dude, you get criticized if you're too big, if you're too buff, if you're too skinny. I mean, I remember me growing up. I just said that. You know, everybody had something. That, like, here's the thing. I'm going to say something that's even spicy. It is acceptable to say anything you want to a man in regards to their body. That's 100%. True. True. Because we have that person. True, true. It's acceptable because a man will take it or a man won't, depending on it. Exception that men, people are nice to men and that men are not affected by like body image issues, people feel comfortable. A hundred percent. And I know this is especially true if you're on the skinny side. That's even ten times more true. People just come up and be like, nigga, you need food. It's like, who are you? They would just come out and say shit like that mm -hmm. all the time. Family, friends, people I don't even fucking know. I was like, yo, this is so normal because they don't even see, like, they don't even think that skinny people can have body image issues. Mm -hmm. And then all this stuff is so normalized. You see it all the time. And, and dudes do it to each other. Women do it to men. Uh, you know, he's, oh, he's too skinny. I want, I want a guy who I feel, like, strong or safe around, right? Women have all these standards about, like, height or I don't want him to be, like, smaller than me. Like, even just, like, girth-wise or whatever. There's, just, there's all kinds of stuff. Men get shamed for the size of their penis. <laughs> I mean, like, that is common stuff. Oh, uh, pe men and women get shamed for smiling with their gums. Are you smile too hard with your gums? Like, come on, bro. Oh, this idea that, oh, women are just nice. Like, no, it's not true. Some women are nice. Some women are not. Some men are nice. People are nice. Some people are not. That's it. But this idea that, like... You know, being a man and you're feeling like, I can tell you this right now, 95% of the male viewers watching right now have body image issues. 100%. Okay? But they go to the gym and they stop bodying. Of course, you're always thinking about like, are my shoulders big enough? That I can do jaws bigger than mine and more chiseled? Oh, my forehead, forehead, you know, whatever it might be. Everybody, forehead. Poison. Everybody 
got, got body shit. image, image issues. issues. It ain't gendered. Just because men ain't out here always crying about it, trust me, in forums and stuff like that. Yo, listen, you want to know how nerdy these niggas are? Bro, they were starting to do ratios to find like the perfect male figure. They started naming them Chads. Oh, oh yeah, Chad. Chad Jaw. Jaw. They, 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 they started doing like math. They started doing fucking math to find the perfect ratio between like the jawline into coming into this portion to the cheekbones. And they're like, this person has the technical, like, Dudes obsess over it. I know because I've spent so much time in male forums. It is actually completely gay how much they obsess over it. Told you. <laughs> you be like, I've never, I didn't know dudes could stare at another man's face and like discuss it amongst each other. Yay. But the body image issues are real. Super real. So all this to say, uh, you know, when you see dudes putting stuff in their body, right? So they can give themselves the edge when it comes to lifting body image issues right they want to reach that peak because they feel like they're not enough if they don't so they're taking their performance to the next level it's not a critique i'm not judging nobody do what you got to do okay but best belief those kinds of comments and those kinds of negative comments we get it all the time sometimes for men sometimes for women. i see dudes you know like yo you need to lift more your back not mm. big enough nah, 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 nah. i was looking up at what age billy eilish got successful Mm -hmm. And and she she won her first Grammy at thirteen, mm -hmm. um, and when that happens, you kind of don't live the normal thirteen year old life. You don't, and the rest you of your don't. life is not really going to be necessarily the same. And I think that it's just that some people like that and that live in that realm that are super popular and everything is tough are oftentimes disconnected about what reality, well, what reality, what most of the people live and feel. A certain they, reality. A certain reality. Because you got to realize it's a certain reality. It's a certain level. And she used to be at reality, but now she's detached from it because you have a lot more fame, fortune, a lot more things going on. Like, let's be honest. Are often sheltered and they, they don't view everything that we're, we get access to sometimes. And I think that's what it is. I think she is not connected to what normal people feel and see and stuff like that. Because it's not the first time that I see Billie Eilish see some, stiff, some stuff that I'm like... You don't sound like you know what you're talking about, but I understand. It's just really the experience of someone being remote and being a star at a young age. Oftentimes, these people are really disconnected. You kind of become sort of a politician, like you're not connected really with the people. Do people talk about that, Buzz? Absolutely. Do, we, do girls talk about if the guy is too skinny? Yes. Yes, they do. They do. But I don't think she saw that. I don't think she has access to what we had access to. Like, did she, she, she got popping at 13. So that means you didn't finish middle school. Did you finish high school? Did you even go to college? Like, you know what I mean? You got popping at such a young age. Did you go through the school, the rest of the school experience and actually do what you got to do? I don't think so. Oh, 13 high school, my bad. Or maybe she's just delusional or not connected at all. But yeah, all of those things that you said that you think is cool and everything and stuff, it's not. Women talk about, oh, yo, look look at the beauty standards for women. Yeah, look at the Barbie and stuff like that. Have you seen a G.I. Joe? For real. Action they figures? Have that places we don't have places. Have you seen any superhero that's out there? Sometimes it feel like if you're not Jason Momoa, you're from the trash. You're from the street. Nobody gonna watch you. Mm -hmm. I've seen people, I've seen girls talk about the fact that I have or not have abs when they have a whole ass belly. There is people entitled out there. There is certified girls that keep on talking about body positivity. And when you ask them, would mm -hmm. you go out with a, a, a guy that's mm -hmm. big? They're they going to say no. They're going to say no. Because they no. so the they're lying bitches. <laughs> it's really real and it's really out there. And no, it's not true that everything is fine. I've seen a couple True. of runways of shows of body positivity. Uh, it was it was swimsuit for body positivity, and it was big women there, beautiful big women that were walking down this, the, 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 the the runway, and it was a wonderful thing. And the guys that were modeling this, the, 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 their swimming suit were people that were dead tat with 12 packs and pecs. And they niggas looked at the girl in front and said, bitch, you get the fuck out of my way. You is not a model. You is not a real model. You ain't about this, baby. And that is respectable. Nah, you know, girls do care. 
And girls are not as nice as you think they are. They're not going to be like, oh, yeah, nice. You don't have a mm-mm. 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 The mm. ghost thing is done by guys. The ghost thing is done by girls. Well, a guy, a guy sees that you don't have something they want. It's over. He's ghosting you quicker than he could say bye bye. He might not even say nothing. He's gonna say, "He's a phantom, phantom." <laughs> Both ghosts Both and girls. So the fact that you're telling me that oh no, girls are nice. Mm, mm. No, they're not. No, you nice. Not. She probably nice. Her training is not to be. Effective at something or strong or strong, no, is to look a certain Aesthetic, way. Aesthetic, yeah. Shit, I gotta, I gotta be able to work this muscle, right? Okay, what do I gotta do? Because the inside is not as big, it's not a symmetry. That's mm-hmm. what we do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't even train that for the aspect of being functional, yep. mm-hmm. but just for the look of it. Mm. That's why there's some people that don't do leg day. And there's some people that don't understand what that means. Is you work out your my 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 uh my health teacher said all of the energy is in your legs. Once you work on your legs, you have uh, so much energy for the entire day. That's why I think Billy Blanks is the best nigga out there. Billy Billy Blanks that type of shit. He you're constantly moving your feet, you're constantly moving your energy, you're constantly getting up, doing something. So shout out to Billy Blanks. And a lot of people who just work out their muscles, they that's why they lose it so quickly because you don't utilize or utilize that muscle or even work those muscles out all the time and those muscles will eventually fade. Oh, look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Any bodybuilder, you realize their muscles fade completely because all they're doing is lifting heavy fucking shit up and down and that's it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to disappear and be gone very soon. It just is what it is. You tell me I'm wrong, but nigga, I'm not. Because this is what we see the most. True. And they got big on the top, and it mm-hmm. looks like. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen your legs, sir. cleaner is in the bottom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so ah. let's, let's, let's not act like, you know, girls are nice. That That's not true. Yeah. That, that's not true. But it's also it's true that like people are very hard on ladies in regards to their looks. Uh, that is uh, that is one. true. So both, the struggle that can... you feel as a woman in regards to like looking a certain type of way, whether or not you choose to sexualize yourself or not, whether you go over the top to try to hide your body parts because you don't want to be constantly judged for that, you want to be judged for your talent. Like that's a real struggle too. Mm-hmm. All of these things are valid. I just I, I would wish that people wouldn't try to discredit the other side in order to lend credence to the fact that their side struggles. And the truth is. The human experience is struggling. Man, woman, child, old people, we struggle. Kids want to be understood. Old people want to feel relevant. Everybody going to have their problems. Mm-hmm. So we just don't need to discredit the others. That's a fact. Saying. When things like that happen, it, oftentimes what I see is people are like, yeah, but women, yeah, but man, yeah, but that's not what we saying. Both can coexist at the same time. True. Both but have problems saying, at the no, same time. Men and women both have problems at the same time. It just, you just don't understand that. People just be like, oh, but, but, but. I'm like, yeah, but they both have problems. A sandwich. Equality. It's not saying that women don't have it hard. Like, both can coexist at the same time. It's not a competition of misery. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, sometimes... Sometimes it's really that. It's like you just say, yeah, you know, men have it too. No, you don't. Because women, yeah, that's not what I said. Say, baby. That's not it's even not. what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that we have it bad. But me saying we have it bad don't mean that fuck y'all, oh. we have it bad. I really just said we have, have it bad. And both can be, can, can be there. That's it. Motherfuckers really just want to be heard. Motherfuckers just really want to put their things out there. Yeah, it could have been a... I feel you because it's bad for us too. Uh-huh. It could be that, but nah, you're just thinking like a competition and shit like that. It was mad corny, man. I'll say this too. If, if any of you guys are down with me, go talk to the men in your life, okay? They might not open to you right away about their body image because generally, as men, even though we may have them, we're not open about them because then it's admitting to insecurities that we have. True. But if these dudes are open enough, they'll be able to tell you like, yeah, ask them, actually, don't ask them if they have body image issue. Ask them if you know that if men around them have body images about themselves or do you think that men feel some type of way about their bodies? Make it more general. Don't make it about them specifically. I think you're going to be very surprised to how quickly most of them are going to be like, yeah, definitely. I don't mean personally. Someone's like, yo, Abba, you got body image or something? I'm like, yeah. huh? But if you tell me, like, dudes, yeah. Fuck out of here. What? Take your shit, bro. What do you mean? You got body issues. 
You got body insecurities. Well, why, why are you saying that? How do you know? Because I know. How do you know? I just know. Then you know. That's what you think. You're just ascribing to no, me an intent. Absolutely no, not. Yeah, you do. No, no, no. You be ascribing an intent to me that you don't even know. No, no, no. Yeah. I, know, I know you got body. It's okay. No, I don't. Just admit it, bro. It's I don't. Fine. Why you I got, don't. Why you got to be like this? I don't. You always have to put a front like, I don't, I don't. Yes, you do. It's bro, okay. I feel great in my body. I do. It's fine. I do. It's okay. Don't try to make me feel I'm insecure. Not, I'm not trying to make you feel... Yeah, you're trying to put something on me. Pause. That's <laughs> sounds so gay. <laughs> hey, yo. yo. Don't don't act like I, no. no, it's fine, bro. You do. Don't project outwards. I don't give just a shit. It. Just speak for yourself. I, I'm fine with that. Okay, so talk mm-hmm. about it. I'm not, but, don't, but don't put it on me. They know. You, they know. No, 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 they no, no, know, no, no. They know. They know you. You don't. Like, it's like... You got insecurities like anybody else. I don't have like... insecurities, but not body image issues. Oh, that's that's a lie, but it's fine. It's okay. He's okay. Not... The, the, what, You're not ready. What, 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 what are your body issues? Bro, it's okay. Talk about your it's own. okay. Uh-huh. He's not ready, guys. It's fine. <laughs> not, not open and that's how it is between those guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That I is. Got thing. So figure out what yours is. You know, come to terms with it, but that's about it. Anything else? No. Nah. Talk about your body image issues. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk about other people. But when it's about you, all of a sudden you want. Uh, I, often uh, talk, uh, I often talk. Uh, about, I often talk about. Uh, you. And whenever we talk about you, what, that's what you, you never do. talk about you. When, whenever, when you talk about whenever you? we talk about you, that's exactly what you do. You block it off. You're like, hey, you talk, you talk over people and shit like that. Yeah, work on that. Work on that. He's gonna work on that. All right. Let's know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> I love Adam and Preach just for shit like that because they, they understand and have conversations. Even though they're, they're, they're probably not friends or they are friends or whatever, they can very understand, really have conversations like this and like fuck with each other. But I do believe Billie Eilish is wrong. Men do have body issues and women do insult men with body issues. And it's very much the point where I think she sees it her way. At 13, you were super successful. Now look at you now. Look at you now. You don't understand... What it is to be that. Like, do you think, oh, guys, man, like, I don't want to be with a girl who wears glasses and then fucking finds out he's wearing contacts. Like, if you don't get your bitch ass the fuck out of here. Like, it's just, it's very low thinking to not understand. Did you go through the high school experience? Did you go through the school experience and see what girls really talk about with guys and how girls talk to girls with girls about guys, how guys talk about guys with girls? If you have it, then you don't understand. Long story short, say shout out to Ivan Preach. Incredible video. Billie Eilish, girl, you need to get outside your fucking head and make some new friends. 100%. It's your boy Fat Man. Make sure to like, Bitch. make sure to subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified. For me to you, remember to never give up, never surrender, and keep on grinding. Peace! And I'm out. Ah, uh, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Peace. Shit. Yeah, been on drum. Yeah, been on drum. You real niggas gonna stop acting like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the contract. We ain't ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden?